and the surface of revolution. The cylinder and the surface of revolution. Uh, first, we consider the cylinder. What is cylinder? Uh, we can uh, we consider the uh, equation x square plus y square equals uh, like one. On the plane, this uh, represents a circle. But what is uh, what is uh, in the space? We know that from in the space, there is x square plus y square. That means for any uh, for any z, uh, for any z, uh, if x and y satisfy this equation, the uh, the point is on the uh, is. Uh, lies on the surface. Like if there is x y on uh, lies on the circle, and for any for any uh, z, for any z, or for any for any point, for any point that is x y z. Uh, satisfy x square plus y square equals one. That's on lies on the lies on the surface. That means if there if there is a line passing through passing through this point. And this line is parallel to z. Uh, that means for uh, any point on the on the line is satisfy this equation. So uh, any point on the line, uh, it is uh, believed that is lies on the plane. So uh, for uh, we draw each point for each point on the circle. We draw a line parallel to the parallel to the z-axis. Uh, then the point on the line is, satis uh, is satisfied this equation. So uh, this actually represents a, a circular cylinder because. Any point on the circular cylinder is satisfy this equation. We can we uh, we can view this surface as a line move along this uh, move along the circle, and uh, and and this generate a uh, surface. We call this surface a, a circle. Circle cylinder that move a move a line along a curve and keeps the parallel to uh, some uh, other line. The, this generate uh, generate a cylinder. Generally, we say. Uh, we define a cylinder is a surface that is generated by move a straight line along a given planar curve while holding the line the line parallel to a given fixed fixed line. Uh, in this case, the all the uh, lines are parallel to the z-axis. The cylinder. Mm, and we call this plan curve or generate the plan curve. The plan curve is called the generate generating curve. Uh, there 
is some notes. We call this remark. Be uh, in this case, uh, in this example, we, we know that there is no z axis. No z axis, that means for any z, for any z, if x and y satisfy this equation, it doesn't matter what is the value of z. That means this, this um, cylinder is parallel to z. For the, uh, for the surface, x. If there is no z variable, no variable z, that means this cylinder is parallel to z axis. Similarly, if there is no x, that is as parallel to x axis. That means that we in what 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 no matter what is the value of x, uh, if y and z satisfy the equation, if the surface has no variable of y, then the surface is parallel to y axis. That's the cylinder. For example, y equals x square. There's no, there's no z, so this surface is parallel to z. Uh, by the definition of a cylinder, first we draw uh, the uh, planar curve, curve y equals x squared. That is, that is a parabola. And how to draw the cylinder? We can draw, uh, first we draw the uh, plane curve on the uh, coordinate, coordinate plane. Then we draw another, another curve that is parallel to, to, the, giving, uh, to the plane curve. Then draw some parallel, some, draw some parallel lines, then the, the the graph of the cylinder uh, is shown here. That is parallel to z axis. So the, all the lines are parallel to z axis. axis. And if there is z equals x square, this is y equals x square. For z equals x square, So z equals x square is parallel, uh, is parabola. Then is is parallel to y axis. So we draw another uh, parabola uh, parallel to the put to the uh, generating curve. Then we draw some draw some parallel lines. Like this. So this surface is z equals x square. We give, uh, if there's uh, z equals y square, then the graph is like this. It's parallel to x axis. So this is z equals y square. Then we draw a parallel line as that is, like this. That is z equals y square. First, we first draw the draw the uh, uh, cylinder. First, we draw the generating the generating curve. Then draw another uh, another uh, curve. The same as the generating curve parallel to the uh, to the generating curve, and then draw uh, the parallel lines connected to these two curve. Example two: If the 
surface is x minus y equals 0. x minus y equals 0. That is x equals y. x equals y is this line. And uh, first we draw the generating the generating line and draw uh, the, the same line parallel to the generating line and connect it to these two curve by parallel lines. That's the that's how to draw a cylinder. And there's third example. If there's y square plus z square equals zero. Y square plus z square that means is is a circle uh, equals one is a circle and parallel to the x axis we draw another circle and connected these two circle by some parallel lines and this is y square plus z square equals one This is the cylinder and how to draw the graph of a cylinder. The second surface is the second type of surface is a surface of revolution. Suppose uh, the graph, uh, the the function and z o equals f y, or the graph of z equals y, f y. It's like this. Z equals f y. Uh, revolute. Uh, revolute. Uh, by z axis in terms of z axis uh, what is the surface generated by the revolution uh, by z axis after we uh, we rotate the the surface of revolution is like this And uh, revolute, revolute by z axis. So the for any point, as for any point as a curve, the z coordinate does not change. The z the z axis is that does not change. But what is the x and the y coordinates? Uh, suppose this point is uh, y not and uh, Z not, and this, then this point, this point uh, generate a circle. So so what for any point on uh, on the circle? Suppose this point is x y. C not. What is x and y? Because this this is circle and the radius actually is uh, uh, is the absolute value of y not. That means y not the absolute value of y not. Maybe y not is on maybe this way uh, on the negative uh, on the negative part of this axis. So. Y, the absolute value of y naught is square root x square plus y square because the x of y on the circle is uh, radius is absolute value of y naught. So that means that means the y the y coordinate in the surface uh, in the uh, curve is becomes uh, positive or negative square root x square plus y square. That means the surface, 
becomes z equals f positive or negative square root x square plus y square. This is the, uh, the, the surface of revolution. Uh, sometimes maybe uh, the surface is given by uh, the surface of re revolution and uh, generated by z equals f y. Or some, sometimes uh, if there is f positive or, or negative square root x square plus y square and z, that is a surface revolution gen generated by f y z equals zero. Uh, and and uh, Revolution uh, in terms of z axis. That's the revolution generated by z equals f y revolution by uh, z axis. Uh, similarly. We have revolution, uh, revol uh, surface of revolution by x-axis and uh, y-axis. If the, the if the surface is right as f uh, x positive or negative y square plus z square, that is f x y by revolution. Revolutes by x axis and if uh, equal zero, then uh, if there's a y positive or negative as uh, x square plus z square equal zero, that is f y z revolute by y axis. That's the surface of revolution. Uh, the examples. Example four. Z equals x square. Revolute. Revolute by z axis. And then the, uh, the, the equation that is z revoluted by z axis, so z keep, con uh, keep on, on change, and x becomes uh, positive or negative square root x square plus y square, and uh, take the square, that is x square plus y square. That means z equals x square plus y square is the uh, is a surface is z z equals x square uh, maybe this is x this is z and uh, revolute by z axis so it's like this it's like a ball This is the revolute by z axis. Second one, if z equals y, revolute by z axis, that is z equals positive or negative x square plus y square that is the cone this 
is revolved by the z axis yeah, like this. That's the core. Is if revolved by y axis. That is y equals positive or negative square root x square plus z square. As y that's z. That's z equals y. And revolute by y axis. That's that's y equals positive or negative square root x square plus z square. This is z equals positive or negative square root x square plus y square. That's the uh, re uh, surface of revolution. That's it. Uh, there's another example. Uh, find the uh, find the generating curve uh, like. Uh, C square over four square uh, four over four minus uh, x square over line minus y square over line equals one and generating a curve of this uh, of uh, of this revolution uh, surface and the axis and which uh, which the uh, which the curve revolves by actually uh, how to solve this equation Because z square over 4 square minus x square over line minus y square over line, that is z square over 4 minus uh, x square plus y square over line, uh, that is z square over 4 minus. Uh, positive or negative square root x square plus y square over line is square equals one. So we find you know, find that that there is uh, a uh, expression of square root x square plus y square. So so the generating curve. Is z square over four minus uh, y square over line, or or z square over four minus uh, x square over line equals one, and the revolution axis is z axis because z, uh, z because z does not change. That's how to find the generating curve and the revolution axis.